2017, co-presented by Victoria Memorial Hall, Get Institute, Max Müller Bhavan, Kolkata, and Jadapur University. JUPF has been organized by Jadapur University Photographic Club, JUPC. Before we begin, let me start with the words of the man who played a very important role in making photography an accepted form of art, Mr. Alfred Stieglitz. He had said, in photography, there is a reality so subtle that it becomes more than reality itself. It is my utter privilege to announce that JUPF is the very first photo fest of Kolkata to celebrate the art of photography and the reality archived in it. We have with us today our Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Shuranjan Das, the much esteemed curator and secretary of Victoria Memorial, Dr. Joyanto Shengupto, and the director of Get Institute, Max Müller Bhavan, Kolkata. We also have a very special guest with us today, a name that needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please put your hands together for one of the finest directors of our country, Mr. Gautam Ghosh. I would request Mr. Gautam Ghosh to come up on stage and inaugurate the event. And also our Vice Chancellor, Sir, and Mr. Fis uh, Frisco Macker. And Mr. Joyanto Shenguptu. Mr. Ghosh, we would request you to please say a few words. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a pleasure for me to attend the inaugural show of this wonderful exhibition. And what an idea! This, the display is so brilliant and excellent photographs. So I'm really, really thankful to Jadapur University and other co-sponsors for inviting me. We live in an age of image making. You see snapshots everywhere. I think two-thirds of our population has a camera in their mobile. So image, image and images, full of images. But they are not really photographic images. They're just for recording, for sending it to the social medium. But photography is an art, of course, for that it has to be learned, it has to be practiced, and that's a very, very long process. My generation has seen a total evolution of this photographic process, the techniques, from analog to digital. Even in analog, there were many techniques were evolved and from there to digital, still many photographers prefer analog. They are still using celluloid, but mostly gone. Even in films, you know, we are using uh, digital. Uh, celluloid has gone. But I think, you know, the photochemical process in an analog photographic age has been replaced by Photoshop or any many other softwares. But perception has not changed much because perception on an artist or a photographer is, you know, how he or she will use the space. That's very important, like a painter. So that space is very important. The photographer's eyes, his or her preference, that's very, very, very vital. But technology changes so many things. A lot of people, a lot of photographers nowadays say, oh my God, you know, everything is now done in post-production, uh, in photoshopping. I said, Why not? Let, let you know, a, a new images, new art is emerging. A new layering has been happening. I remember uh, a brilliant cameraman, photographer, Benu Shen and Shushanto Babu, they had done the similar kind of layering inside the dark room. But now people are doing it on, in Photoshop. What's wrong? Nothing wrong in it. The most important is your passion, your perception, and your vision. That is very, very important. I'm really delighted to see this exhibition, its display. Very innovative, very exciting. And thanks to Victoria Memorial for giving such a wonderful space they have. And I'm sure that people will enjoy the exhibition very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.
thank you so much, sir. This fest would not have been possible without the constant support and encouragement from our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Shuranjan Das. I request him to come up and say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause, please. My distinguished colleague, Demi and filmmaker, Mr. Gautam Ghosh, Professor Joyan Toshen Gupta, Director, Goethe Institute, distinguished members in the audience, which includes a number of esteemed colleagues of mine, and of course, my very dear students. I have primarily come here to thank all those without whose constant efforts this exhibition and today's program would not have been possible. First, my dear students, the members of Jadukpur University Photographic Club, who single-handedly organized this particular event. All credit goes to them. I really feel bad that due to our financial constraints and other constraints, on behalf of Jadupu University Administration, we cannot provide constant financial help and other infrastructure help to them. But they have gone out of their way to prove their worth, to prove their ability, to prove their expertise, to prove their dedication to the cause of photography. I always say the students of Jadupur not only excel in academics, but they also excel in activities outside the campus. This exhibition significantly demonstrates this fact. I congratulate the students and I can say that so long as I will be in Yadupur, I'll try to do my best to help you in organizing future exhibitions, both in the campus and outside the campus. Secondly, I'd like to thank my former student and currently one of the most distinguished personalities of the city, Professor Jayanta Shengupta, and his colleagues in Victoria Memorial for kindly providing us a space to organize this exhibition, but I think the university will also be the other area, other space where this exhibition will be shifted. And without Jayanta's help, this would not have been possible on my own personal behalf and on behalf of the university, I sincerely thank you for all the help. I also thank the Goethe Institute for providing the lending hand, without which again the exhibition would not have been possible. I also take this opportunity to put on record our special thanks and gratitude to Mr. Gautam Ghosh for, enabling, for being with us today. I can assure you that your presence today will remain a source of sustenance and strength for all my students who, as I said, have put tireless efforts to put this exhibition, to make this exhibition reality. I won't take much of your time except perhaps to pose a question taking the cue from Mr. Ghosh. What are the uses of photographs? There are certainly many uses of photographs. Photographs are both private and public utilities. But for a student of history, like me and also surely for Joyanto, photographs today are being increasingly considered as an important source material for constructing and reconstructing collective and public memories. To a historian, photographs shape not only what we remember, but also how we remember. And increasingly in historiography, it is becoming important not only to record what we remember, but how we remember. And photographs provide us with a very important source material in that context. I'm here reminded of a very famous historian's quote, and I quote, Photographs can be seen as visual manifestations of processes in history and environment, unquote. Picturing the past through photographs therefore creates possibilities of collaboration, possibilities of cooperation between the practitioners of history and what we now call photojournalism. The present exhibition, as I see it, is an evidence of this. Interestingly, I should also perhaps be failing in my duty to remember the audience that this magnificent building, which we all laud, in which this exhibition has been organized, 
also coincided with the process of successful colonial penetration into our country. And the making of this great building was steeped in imperial arrogance and extravagance. And as we celebrate the exhibition, perhaps we need not ignore this vital perspective. I did not go beyond this point. But I'm sure that after going through the exhibition, we will agree that photographs aptly enables us to capture and recapture nostalgia, memorable memories, inspiring objects and scenarios, and most importantly, such capturings and recapturings are usually done spontaneously, as Mr. Gautam Ghosh reminded us. And this spontaneity imparts a particular meaning to the photographs as a source material to historians. Could I end with a quote from a very famous Western commentator, and I quote, Beauty can be seen in all things. Seeing and composing the beauty is what separates the snapshots from the photograph, unquote. Perhaps this could be the context in which the panel discussion might be organized. Perhaps this could be the context in which we look at the wonderful photographic exhibition that my students put up. Congratulations, students. You have really made me proud. You have really made Jadupur University proud. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. This photo fest would also not have been possible had Geth Institute Max Muller Bhavan not considered a group of students capable of conducting such a fest of such expansive dimension. Mr. Frisco Macker has been very kind on many occasions and extended his support for this event. I welcome you, sir, on stage to share a few words about the potential and possibilities of this fest. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Thank you very much, sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor and a great pleasure for me standing here um, in front of one of the most prestigious buildings uh, of the city uh, on one of the most visited uh, places of the city. Um, for us as Goethe Institute, it's a great honor to be associated um, to the first edition of this festival. And I can also only felicitate all those who have worked tirelessly in order to make it come true. Um, just the other day we had a talk uh, on alternative spaces in the framework of the SEMA Awards Kolkata Art Festival. And um, we all agreed that, um, especially for me as a German, when, when I think of alternative spaces uh, for art, um, I think of Berlin. Um, but um, as I very deeply feel, this city, I am sure, has many more spaces that could be uh, used for art uh, and the display of art. Uh, one of it being obviously the Victoria Memorial Grounds. Um, and another thought uh, which I think um, makes this also a br brilliant initiative and also I would very much like to thank um, Victoria Memorial for giving the grounds for it because um, I think one can always ask oneself if it is the people who have come to the art or is it the arts that come to the people. And I think for Victoria Memorial Grounds, it's certainly the latter. And you see so many people who come here in any case would maybe not necessarily go to an exhibition which would be presented in a white cube. So I think it's great to display wonderful pieces of art in an open space, in a space where people feel at home. So um, I I can only say that I uh, very much look forward to the coming days um, of this festival and the master classes. I'm proud to announce that there is also a German photographer, Boris Eldaxon, who is here with us. Thank you very, very much uh, for coming. And um, I wish the festival in its first edition the best of luck. Um, and I hope to see many, many more editions in the years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir.
We are also highly grateful to Dr. Joyanto Shengupto for allowing us to use the hallowed space of Victoria Memorial for the first JUPF. We would love to hear a few words from Dr. Shengupto. Sir, could you please? Honorable Vice Chancellor of Jadavpur University and my teacher, Professor Shuranjun Dash, uh, Sri Gautam Ghosh, uh, Mr. Frizo Maker, the director of the Goethe Institute, Max Muller Bhavan, uh, all the distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and my very dear students. It's a privilege and honor for us to be associated with the first Jadavpur University photo fest. Uh, as Professor Das said, you have done not only Jadavpur University proud and the city proud, but you, all, you have also made Victoria Memorial Hall proud. It's our pride to be associated with such an innovative and such an excellent photo festival. Uh, it's been a long time since we have had exhibitions of public art in these grounds, which by the way are not hallowed grounds, not anymore. We are trying to open it up for more and more exhibitions like this. And so when my teacher, Professor Shuranjun Das, first proposed that we be associated with it a few months ago, uh, it seemed to be a unique opportunity for us to resume our public art program and also to renew my personal connection with Jadavpur University, which ran very, very deep. I have been, uh, you know, I, I have taught in that university for many years. So it's a great moment for us. It's an excellent exhibition as you can see. Uh, it will be on display right up to the 5th of March and we are extremely grateful for not only Jadapur University but also the Goethe Institute Max Muller Bhavan to partner with us in this venture and we are deeply grateful to Sri Gautam Ghosh for coming and really expressing his support for this exhibition. So now that we have opened these grounds, which are not hallowed, as I repeat, to such public art, uh, you know, I am sure this will open the way for more exhibitions of this kind in the future. So like all of you, I look forward to an exciting round of conversations on art, on archiving, on photography, in the keynote address and the panel discussion that follows, and then seeing this exhibition, enjoying this exhibition over and over again for the next few days. Thank you so much again, especially congratulations to Jadapur University Photography Club for mounting this excellent exhibition and giving us an opportunity to bring it on display to the public. We are the most visited museum in India by a long, long margin. So we are really glad that a, a, you know, a, a large number of visitors get the opportunity to appreciate and enjoy good art as articulated in these excellent photographs. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I stand corrected. We would now like to felicitate all the eminent dignitaries on stage.